Good morning, mathematicians. I'm trying to get the color right on this. So today we're talking about fractions, and we're going to specifically talk about fractions on a number line. Now, I love fractions, but when we're first learning fractions, we can sometimes be a little bit like scared of how they work and what they mean and all of that good stuff. So we're going to break this down, fractions on a number line. Okay, let me think about what a fraction is. If I have half of something and my friend has half of something, let, let's pretend like a sandwich, right? If I have half of the sandwich, I don't have the whole thing. I have a fraction of that sandwich. If you eat a piece of pizza and you don't eat the whole pizza, then you ate a fraction of that pizza. So oftentimes when we think of fraction, I'll think of it like in food terms. <laughs> um, you know, I don't usually think of it, there, obviously when I'm first learning, I'm not gonna try to visualize it off of like money or something like this, but I definitely am gonna try to think of it based off of food, right? So, cause that's the easiest, you can split food into lots of different pieces, right? And pizza is a perfect example of that. So let's jump into this. So I see a picture here and it looks like we have a house and it looks like we have a gas station and then the car and then maybe another gas station. I'm not sure. And then another house. So my guess, just from looking at this, if I'm thinking about fractions, it's, it's, um, you know, this is one stop that they made on this road trip, right? So here they are on their road trip, here they are on their road trip, and here they are on their road trip. So this is kind of what I'm thinking, like this whole thing represents a road trip. Now I haven't read it yet, so I don't know, but this is what I'm guessing by looking at the picture. The other thing before I do any reading here is I wanna identify what's happening here. And so what I see is it says zero out of four. So this is, must be the starting point. And then it says four out of four, which is the ending point. So my guess, if I'm looking at this, um, because the car is going this direction, my guess is that this is the starting spot, right? So zero out of four, one out of four, two out of four, three out of four, four out of four. This is what I'm guessing, okay. Other thing I wanted to point out is I see it says zero, four, one, four, blank, 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 and then it says four, four, hmm, okay. So I'm guessing that all of these are going to have a four at the bottom. That's what I'm guessing. Hmm, zero, blank, 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 four. Hmm, okay. So I'm gonna leave that open, but I'm pretty sure these are fours down here. So now let's read this question. So Billy's family is traveling from his house to his grandma's house. So this here, this is Billy's house. Go ahead and annotate this with me. This is Billy's house. And I think it's important, you, uh, can you see that? I think it's important that you remember this is the house that belongs to Billy or to his family. So it's, a, um, it's possessive, so we put the apostrophe here, right? The house belonging to Billy. And this is gonna be grandma's house up here. So we'll go ahead and write grandma's house. And ma's, again, same thing. It's possessive, it belongs to grandma. So put that apostrophe, okay? So now that I've identified a couple things here, oh, let's put like a little thing, this is grandma's house. Now that I've identified this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start looking at the actual problem here. So Billy's family is traveling from his house to his grandma's house. There are no numbers in this first sentence, so I can mark off, I've, I've traveled from my house to my grandma's house um, back when she was alive. So I, I understand what that's like. Now, my trip was a lot longer because my grandma lived in Iowa and I live in California, so longer trips. But um, I, I understand what it's like to take a road trip. It says, now they, so Billy's with his family, right? So they stop at a gas station when they are one fourth and three fourths of the way. So we have a gas station here and a gas station here. So I would say that this one is one fourth and I would say that this one is three fourths. 
And the reason I was able to determine that is when we're thinking about numbers, to complete the trip, you have to go through all of the stops. So if I'm looking at this, there are four stops, right? So you never count your starters. So they're leaving Billy's house. So this is first stop, second stop, third stop, fourth stop. Let's look at it again. They start here at Billy's house. They go to the gas station. That's the first gas station they go to. And I think the reason I knew this was the first because we identified the direction that they were going. If the car had been facing the other way, then this is where they would have started, right? But because the car is facing this way, and if you were to follow the road, you can see from Billy's house, here's gas station one, right? And then gas station two, which is at the third, third stop, right? Um, okay, so that I do feel confident about. Um, so now I know this is one fourth, this is three fourths, right? So this I feel good about. It says here that one fourth and three fourths, so I've identified which one is which. So again, though, I'm not gonna cross this off because I might still need those numbers. So how can we represent those distances on a number line? Okay, so you might be saying, okay, wait a minute, what's going on here? Before we talk about what's going on here and what's going on here, we do need to read here, yeah? So it says, you can use a number line to show fractions. They're not telling you to do anything. They're just explaining how this works. So I feel good about that because I see that they are using a number line down here. The length from one hole to the next hole represents, wait, let me read that again. The length from one hole number to the next whole number represents one whole. So you need to think of this like this road trip is one whole thing. If they were to then go back from grandma's house to their house, that would be another whole road trip. If you've ever flown anywhere, right? They call it round trip if you go both ways, but let, let's say you just go one way. So let's say you go to visit your brother in San Francisco, right? And I take that trip that's one trip there. That's one whole trip. And then I go back and that's another whole trip. So what happens when I'm going to see my brother on like getting there, I had a pack, that's part of it. I've got to drive there or get an Uber. I, maybe I need to eat my breakfast, right? Like, so you can think about all the steps that you take in order to um, like that are part of that trip. And then that would be how you would break it into parts. They made it pretty simple. They just said four parts, gas station, driving, gas station, grandma's house, right? So they just made it pretty simple. They didn't stop for food. They didn't like, you know, they didn't mention any of that stuff. But so this is kind of how you want to think about it. So when they talk about it being from one whole number, you could think of it like the way there, that's one whole trip. The way back, that's one whole trip. So this is how you could kind of think about it. Okay. Let me see, where did I leave off? The line can be divided into any number of equal parts or lengths. So for example, if I was to go visit my brother, right? Like I would have to get up in the morning, I'd have to eat breakfast, I'd have to get to the airport, I'd have to board the airport, I'd have to take my plane, I'd have to deboard the plane, I'd have to get an Uber to my brother's house, and then I would arrive. So I would have eight steps that I would take. You might have more, you might have less, but this is kind of how they're trying to let you think about it. So you think about your trip and all of the things that you do, and then that is all of the parts. So in this case, they just did four parts. One, two, three, four, right? You don't ever count your starter. So um, one, two, three, and that's where they end four, okay? So what I see now is two different things happening here. So what they're trying to show you is what one fourth looks like. So this is from Billy's house to the first gas station. And that's one fourth of the trip, right? Because remember we have one, two, three, four stops. So this is the first out of four events that happened or four things that happened. So what they're showing us is that everyone is going to be a fourth. This is a fourth, this is a fourth, this is a fourth, and then this is a fourth. And you might be saying, but that says three fourths. Yes, if you were to count all of them, but if you count them individually, so like this is one fourth, and then from here to here is a fourth, and then from here to here is a fourth. But 
if you said, okay, how much for this part and this part, it would be one fourth, two fourths. If you counted all three, it would be one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. If you counted all four, it'd be one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths. But each one on its own is a fourth. Okay, so what I now can see is, um, and there'll be some, let, let's read this before we fill anything in. It's pretty much going to be what I just told you, but like we'll read it just to kind of see. So now that we've done this, um, you might be saying, gosh, there's a lot of numbers on here and I, I'm feeling that with you. So I'm trying to break down where these numbers are coming from. So from Billy's house to grandma's house, that's one whole trip. But if you look here, it says four out of four. If you have all four pieces out of four, if you eat all four slices in a piece of that pizza that has four slices, you ate the whole thing, right? So that's what they're saying here, right? In one, two, three, four steps, we took the whole trip. So that's kind of what's happening here. So now let's go ahead and read. You can read. You can pause me and read this to yourself if you like. Um, you can read it as I'm reading it, or you can just listen in. Okay. So, oh, I see that word divide. Okay. I'm going to put a little division sign here. Divide the line. So this here is the line into four equal lengths or fourths. It's already they already did it for us. So I feel good that that one is done. Now, where some students and I, I did have a student who didn't take the time and would make things of different size and unfortunately your sizes do have to be the same so rulers are a good thing when we're learning fractions but at the same time um, for this introductory you're not going to have to worry about that place four right one two three four that's where that number comes from place four one fourth fraction strips end to end Okay, so we don't have fraction strips. You might have them. I don't actually have them handy. So what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna use um, this and I'm just gonna put like a little marker and I'm kind of looking at this box and I'm gonna put it about halfway. It's not exactly perfect, you guys, because I don't have the strips, but I'm just gonna lightly kind of look to where I think about half is. If you've ever cut a sandwich in half, you can cut this little box in half. Mine are not perfect, you guys, by any means. And so what it's saying here is place the one-fourth fraction strips. If you had those or you had like fraction blocks or whatever, which I don't have, I'm sorry, um, you could do that. I'm going to go ahead and just fill this in. And I'm going to stop right at that line there. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this one going to right around the same. And I'm also gonna say one out of four. Now I know for a lot of you who want things to be perfect, um, yeah, this is not gonna be your jam, right? Like you're gonna be probably a little frustrated, but um, if you don't have them like me, then you just are gonna have to make do. And no, my pieces aren't perfect, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and continue. I'm starting with the bottom one just because it's easier for me to see that kind of line there and then I go to the top one and I'm going to draw this down. Ooh, that one was pretty good, I have to say. Okay, so one fourth there and then we'll do the last one. And I'm actually going to label these so I know what they represent. Okay, so this is gas station one. So I'm going to write gas number one, car, and then gas Ooh, I'm off. Ah, I messed up, you guys. Ooh, ooh, this is gas one. Nah, messed up. Okay. This is when they're in the car. And then this is gas number two. And then this is, we know, grandma's house. Okay. So I apologize, that looks terrible, but it is what it is when you use pen. This is why you should be using pencil, you guys. Use your pencils. So, okay, gas one, car, gas two, grandma's. So again, in gas one, right, they've gone one fourth of the way. When we look at their car, they've gone past one, two, 
right? So it's two out of the four steps. When they get to gas three, they've gone one, two, three. So wait a second, you guys, wait. Gas one was the first one. The car was one, two. The gas three, it was one, two, three. And then the last one, one, two, three, four. Okay, also you see that pattern here. Zero, one, two, three, four, yeah? So at the end of each strip, draw a mark or line. That is that piece, okay? And then it says, so mark that off. Count the fourths from zero to one and label the distances. So zero out of four, one out of four, two. One out of four, two out of four, three out of four, one, two, three, and then four out of four. Now where some students will have trouble with fractions is this. They will say, well, I'm counting this one, two, three, four. Why am I not counting four, eight, 12, 16? And the, it's very simple because this is part of one whole thing. So if you eat two pieces of the pizza, and there's eight pieces, let's say there's four pieces in there. If you ate two pieces of a pizza, right? Here's the pizza like this, right? Let's pretend. And you eat two of them. So you ate one out of four, and then you ate another out of four. That means that you ate one, two pieces out of four pieces total. You didn't eat this. You didn't eat two pieces out of eight. I don't know if that's helpful at all, but that's how you want to think about it. This bottom number is the amount of parts or the amount of pizzas, right? It's not that there are four of each. That means there are four total. So if you eat one piece of pizza out of four, that means there are three pieces left. If you eat two pieces out of four, there are two pieces left. So the bottom number is the amount of parts. That's not gonna change, at least not for what we're doing today, okay? That's not gonna change. The amount or how far you've gone on this road trip is gonna change, okay? So that's, that's a big one to know. So let's see, count the fourths from zero to one, label the distance, we did that. Yeah, look, they're telling us exactly what I just said to you. Think one out of four is one out of four equal lengths. Okay, so that's essentially what's happening here. Yeah, I feel like we went over that already. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Is anyone else tired today? Is it just me? Okay, so we're gonna be completing this number line here. Um, and this time it's six pieces. Maybe there are six steps in this um, trip that they're taking. Maybe there are six pieces of pizza. There's no picture here at all, so we could make it out of whatever, right? There are six party favors. There are six layers of cake. There are six, um, uh, six of something, anything, right? But it's one piece of something. It's not six individual pieces. It's one big thing that you're breaking up into smaller amounts, okay? So let's see, it says use colored pencil. I have a colored pen, just one of them. And let's take a look at this. This number, this, little, this number line is divided into six equal lengths or six. Fractions will always have this um, THS. There are a few exceptions, but almost all of them will have THS. Thirds won't, seconds won't, halves won't, um, but everything else will. Fourths, fifths, sixths, sevenths, eighths, ninths, um, 20 seconds won't, um, 20 thirds won't, but anything ending with like a four, 20, uh, 20, uh, 20th? Yeah, it's really just the second, first, second, and third that won't have the THS, right? Like 21st, 31st, um, 31st? No. 37th? Yes. 
right? 40 seconds? No, <laughs> we don't say that. You can also think of it like a calendar. When we say the date, when I say like today is January 23rd, that's like fractions because it's a fraction of the whole month. If I say today is January 24th, you hear me say TH, 4th, 24th, 14th, right? So you almost always, with a few exceptions, are going to hear or <laughs> that sounded funny to do it that way, but this is a good way to think about which one has THS, which one doesn't. So kind of think of it like a calendar. And yes, a calendar is fractional. If you have one day out of 31 days, that is a fraction. Today is a fraction of the month. Months are a fraction of the year. Seconds are a fraction of minutes. Minutes are a fraction of hours and on and on, right? So depending on how big you wanna go or how small you wanna go, but you are doing fractions without realizing it. Okay, whoa, 21 minutes, okay. Let's, let's focus. <laughs> All right, so we have this and what I see is they've already shown you. So what they're basically showing you is you from here to here this is what what it looks like. So if you can't visualize from this to this, they drew a box so that you could see it. Each box is worth the same amount. When you're talking about fractions, they have to be worth the same amount. One cannot be bigger than the other. Fractions are fair. That's something you have to know. Fractions are fair. So if we look at this, and we're on page 338. I'm sorry, I didn't write that down, but hopefully you're following along. 338 is our page. This is what a sixth looks like on this number line. If the number line was smaller, the pieces would be smaller. If the number line is bigger, then the pieces would look bigger. But for this number line, this is what a sixth looks like. And what they want us to do is to fill in these boxes here, okay? And they also want us to fill in something here. The length of one equal part is, if you were to cover up all of them, what do you see there? If you cover up those ones, what do you see? When you cover up these ones, what do you see, right? Every time you're seeing the same number. That means that from here to here is one sixth. 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 So like if we were thinking about the picture before, right? Maybe instead of having four stops, maybe they like stopped at a pic, like to have a picnic and then maybe they had another one where they like got food and have, um, or they went to play tag or something or they went to take pictures. So the trip could technically have been longer. So in this case, whatever it is we're talking about, it's gonna be broken up into six parts. And the great thing about this is this is pretty easy to fill in. So we have a six on the bottom, six, 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 blank six. So there's only one option here. It's six. Okay. And we know that because all of the pieces are worth one out of six. Now, what we have to do this time is fill this in. So this is when I always say cover up your chaos. If I look at this, what's showing right now is one box out of six or one stop on the road trip out of six or one piece of pizza out of six or one day out of a, there's not really six days in a week, so that won't really work, but right, so we put here. But if I have two of them, it's two pieces out of the whole thing. Remember, in fractions, this bottom number, at least for what we're doing now, is not gonna change. So the next one shows that I have one, two showing. I have a box here and I have a box here. So this means that we're gonna have two showing. Now you can see that I have three showing. Okay, so I get the pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six. I often will look at it and ask myself, what's the pattern on top? Because usually in the fractions on the bottom, at least for where we're at now, it's not gonna change. There are gonna be times where it will change, but for now, no. So now we have to fill this in. So it says, shade the fraction strips that's these guys, okay, to show the location of the point. Here is the point. It's the only one that has like a dot. There's nothing here, but this one looked different than the others. So I immediately looked at that and thought, well, yeah, that looks like a point. 
So yeah, shade the fraction strix to show the location of the point. Okay, so what we have to do is lightly, and when I say lightly, I, I mean lightly, you want to still be able to see the number one and the number six. So do you see how lightly I'm going? I haven't gotten to the dot. Now, sometimes I'll actually start where the dot is at um, and work backwards just so I don't like miss it and do too many. But I'm being very aware. So like that. So I've shaded those in, which means I've shaded in five out of six, right? One, two, three, four, five. Six I did not shade in. Okay. So it says there are five pieces out of six equal length shaded. I agree. One, two, three, four, five. I agree. So the shaded length shows five out of six. This is one way, if you want to know a great way you can write fractions, you can say that you have five out of six. That's what you could say. So blank means the point. So five, six means the point. And I'm going to write it like this, like so. Okay. If you fell behind, pause it, catch up, restart. That's the great thing about videos, but we're at 26 minutes. Okay. So this time we're breaking it up into three. Maybe we want to think of like a tricycle. A tricycle has three wheels and it all three wheels make up one whole bike. Maybe I think of it that way. Um, that's a good way to think of it actually, a tricycle. So three wheels make up one bike. So this would be wheel one, wheel two, wheel three. You could think of it like that if you like. So wait a second. If I'm thinking back to what I saw up here, the six was how many pieces there were. So this time there are one, two, three pieces. So I should put threes at the bottom because there are three pieces. Now what I see is that I have one piece. I have two pieces. And now I have three pieces. Pretty easy to do it that way, but what I really want you to think about is I want you to think to yourself, not like, oh, I can just fill this in. I want you to visualize something that has that am amount of pieces in it and then think about that as a whole. So I think a tricycle is a really good, a really good option here, right? Because we know that a tricycle has three wheels. So wheel one is part of the whole tricycle. Wheel two is part of the whole tricycle. And then wheel three is part of the whole tricycle, right? So this might be a good way to visualize. And so I think maybe this is something we should be doing on all of these. So something that has eight, hmm. Well, I love octopus. I love octopi. I love the animal. I think they are amazing. Um, I don't wanna tell you what to do, but they're very, very smart animals. So don't eat octopus, you guys. Um, that's just me personally. <laughs> um, but so I'm going to think of this as leg one or like tentacle one, tentacle two, tentacle three, tentacle four, tentacle five, tentacle six, tentacle seven, tentacle eight. So eight tentacles. So I'm thinking of this as like an octopus and each tentacle makes up a whole octopus, right? And so now what I see is they already filled in everything except for A except for B and except for C. But wait a minute, you guys, we know that everything on the bottom has an eight. Now I don't have room to write all of this. So I'm gonna actually use this as the fraction bar and I'm gonna write eight at the bottom of all of them. Okay. And so when we look at point A, point A is here. And if I look at that, I can count that I have one, two, three of the tentacles. I have three here. So I would say that I have three out of eight. Pause the video, try three, try four, and then come back. Okay. So B is here. So this is now one, two, three, four, five, six tentacles out of eight. So we'll go six here. And then point C is just, it's the next one up. So I can start counting from the beginning again or just say six, seven, right? 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because here's the next one, yeah? Okay, so we have seven out of eight. Okay, guys, it is um, 30 minutes in. You have an example of six already. You don't have an example of half. So if you want to try that one, I would say try that one. It shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> um, we've already done, th we just did thirds. So you could probably skip that one. Um, and then this one is very similar to what we just did, except for they don't have the boxes for you to count. So one way that you can do it is like this. That's one out of four. That's two out, and obviously if you have a lot, you won't be able to do it, but on a small number, right? Or you can just count it one, two, three, like that. So one out of four, two out of four, three out of four, four out of four, right? So you can do that and tell me what the points are. We all, we know that they're all going to have a four at the bottom. So, okay. Now, if you're feeling like, okay, I got this, but I still want to go back through it during live lesson, you know, we always go back over it together. Um, but yeah, I will see you at 11. If you are interested um, in coming, I would love to see you. I hope that this was helpful. If you are new here and you are not one of my students, hit subscribe. We upload math videos mm, usually twice a week or so. Anyway, bye guys. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this was helpful. Visualize something in your head that has the pieces so you can work with it like an octopus has eight legs. So that's how I envisioned that one. Tricycle has three wheels. That's how I envisioned that one and on and on. Okay. I hope this was helpful. I'll see you guys later. Bye.